Good morning, it is Saturday, and I'm planning on having a very productive Saturday, which means we're going to try to do some house projects for the day. And first things first is the garage. I feel like this honestly might take us a couple of days because there's just so much shit everywhere. I do think that most of it is like junk and just like cardboard boxes and trash and all that stuff. So that should be the easiest part, but not looking so great right now. Are you gonna help today, Sophie? No? Okay. The lights you said? We are done with the garage, and honestly, I feel like that didn't really take us that long. It wasn't that dirty, it was just unorganized. Yeah, and like a lot of trash, to be honest, because of like the construction, well, not even construction, we're renovation and stuff. Um, There's just like random boxes that were just like left in the garage. I'm like, who did not just like throw it in the trash or like recycle? What? No, I never said that. For like random boxes for like the shop back, why did we not break that down in the first place? I was gonna turn that actually then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I actually really like the shop back. It's very handy. Um, but anyways, we did it. Let's show you guys around. The house actually came with a lot of like the shelving and the cart in here and stuff. And they did leave a lot of stuff in the cabinets like paint and just random other things. Um, so we did throw like a couple things out, but we're just going to keep the paint in there. But this is what it looks like. Ryan hung the bike and the paddleboard up there. I didn't even realize there was already these hooks all around, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then over here, he put his golf bags. I don't know what we're doing with that door. I can't remember where that door went. It might be our pantry door, yeah. So we might need to keep that for now. This was like the worst part. It was so cluttered. So I'm like shocked that I can even see like the countertop. And then over here, we had Ryan's golf clubs right here and the rakes and stuff behind it. So it was just like literally so far out. So now I'm going to be able to like walk through and I don't know. I just feel really good about it. <laughs> Our car is filled with like donations and just random just like trash things too. Um, but since we completed a big task of ours, I think we should get a little sweet treat. Some lunch. Some lunch too. Because I did not realize it was like 1230 already. Mm -hmm. thought it was a lot earlier, but... It's okay, still feeling good. We're gonna go to Foxtrot. I love their chai here and we'll probably try to get something to like actually eat because we haven't eaten yet. My pop socket is stuck. I took it off because I wanted to take a photo with holding my phone. But now it's stuck on the table and it's broken because we tried to get it off. There was nothing that we really wanted in uh, box trot, so for food. Yeah, for food, and we got some coffee at least. Um, keep me satisfied. Mm -hmm. um, but what I was doing was <laughs> researching on Reddit because you know people pay to get on like the best whatever lists in Austin. I feel like no way. Yeah, but you really want like the 
people to tell you what the best is. Like a hole in the wall kind of thing? Yeah, or just like, yeah. It's like I found like random like place for wings. Like I can't find wings anywhere here. Like they're everywhere in Atlanta, but not here. Mm -hmm. So I found a place for like wings. And then this place. If you guys know good wings in Austin. Yeah, let please us tell know. me, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> or like Indian food. There's only like one place we really found that's good. Yes, please let us know about Indian food. Because the last time I or got Jack it. Or Palace. That's what they said on there. Yeah. We usually go to Bombay to Kath Kathmandu. I don't mm. even know how to pronounce it, but anyways, that is our favorite. Yeah. It's so fucking good. But anyways, but everyone recommended two cheese. I've seen this before. I just never had it, but it looks like literally never pretty seen solid. This. Really? Yeah, I've yeah. seen it a lot of places. Um, I'll do the side of the light I got a Cuban, and then Ryan got what? Uh, tell me. That was one of the best Cubans I've actually ever had. Yeah. It was so good. My Italian was like six and a half or seven out of ten. My Cuban was probably like a nine, nine out of ten. Yeah, that was really good. Mm -hmm. I kept wanting to steal hers instead. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Academy and try to find some, like, some Carhartt shirts. Um, maybe some overalls. He's lying. We talk about like what our character uniforms would be. <laughs> um, black his... gym shorts with... <laughs> yeah, gym shorts with a black Carhartt like pocket tee is his. <laughs> I don't know what mine would be. That might be this one. Oh. Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's taking a sweet time in Academy, so I thought I would set up my little phone mount. I've actually had this purchase for quite a while, and I forgot about it, and then I found it in the move. It was literally so easy to install. You just, like, hook it to this little AC vent, and it already has, like, the magnetic thing in it. So if you have a case or, like, a phone that is mag safe, it just clicks to it, and it's going to be so nice. Especially since my pop socket just broke. I usually put my pop socket in here when I want to like have the navigation going. My car does have navigation, but not CarPlay. And I hate looking at the map on here. And it's just like, obviously it doesn't really connect to like my phone. So you have to like plug in the address manually. It's like very outdated, obviously, but it's okay. It works for now. I really just bought this mount to do like videos in my car, but it's gonna be perfect for navigation until my new pop socket arrives next up on our saturday to do's is to go to a garden store and kind of just like look around for maybe some spring flowers i've heard that you're supposed to plant like especially the bulbs now or even like in the fall which i definitely did not make the cut but honestly it's still kind of fall in austin so i wonder if you know it's still going to be okay I might just have to ask a lot of questions because I have no idea where to start with gardening, but I want flowers to bloom in the spring, so let's go see. Guys, I think I like this place even better than East Austin Seculans. I just feel like it's larger and it just is such a pretty day and like all the Christmas trees are out and it smells really good and I just really like it here. Lane. Oh, Wisteria Lane. <laughs> Desperate Housewives is our quarantine show. But I really want, what the heck is a chocolate vine? But I really want um this, like some kind of vine somewhere. I mean, I would love to have bougainvillea, but this could also work. They have these little things that tell you, you know, how much water it needs and all of that kind of stuff. The last time we bought our Bougainvillea, they said, oh, it doesn't need any water. <laughs> and it definitely thrived water. in the water. Yeah, I need like a lot of water every day. Yeah. <gasps> Look how freaking pretty these white flowers are, Rye. What are these? Let's see. So pretty. It's my lettuce. I was trying to take a video of this butterfly over mm -hmm. here, and then Ryan's like, do you not see this cat, like, right in front of you? <laughs> Hi, sweet little, yeah. Oh, oh, you're trying to play, aren't you? Oh, oh. are you, are you a nice cat or you're not? Just let us know. First it's sour, and then it's sweet. <laughs> back from the plant store we got some bulbs but I'm gonna do my academy haul so this one is extra yellow now so I got a new white one yeah he already had the white color oh god 
fresh black one. No. Did you take no. it? That one's vintage now, so this one's like the new one. Oh this is the good going out shirt now. Okay. Yeah, the, the other one looks a little gray and dingy. What's the point? Oh my gosh. You got a Carhartt brown. No, that's really... That's probably worse than all of the other ones. Really? I don't love that color, to be honest. Okay. It's not even this, brown. This is like their iconic color, you know? I just... Might the best for last. What is that? Camo is in. I actually have a... My camo pants are going viral on Pinterest right now. Yeah. I don't think I told you that. Let's see if this goes viral anywhere. Right, that isn't... But that kind of camo is just like not... This is a duck camo. This is Amber Boys. Okay, well, I just don't girls. think that is okay. Don't know yeah, I really don't. <laughs> it's a little bit later, but I wanted to do an outfit of the night because we're going to a Christmas bar with my friends, and I'm loving my outfit. I was going to not really put in that much effort, but then um, my friend Snapchatted me what she was wearing, and I was like, oh, I should probably dress a little bit more cute. Um, so I put on my favorite boots right now from Dolce Vita. I'm obsessed with them. My skirt is from Princess Polly. It has a cute little slit. It's like the best basic skirt. I think it's called like the Lola skirt. My top is from Revolve, just like a basic black turtleneck sweater. And then the jacket is from Meshki, which has also been a winter staple. I think I've had it for maybe two years. And then my bag is Teddy Blake. And I actually recurled my hair just cause I feel like I shouldn't have like brushed my hair out after taking it out of the heatless curls this morning i don't i don't think i vlogged that actually but i got um like a wider heatless curling ribbon it's a one and a quarter inch so it makes a little bit bigger of curls but i just kind of like brushed it out and shook it out a little too early so i wasn't loving how my hair was looking so i just like recurled some pieces but we're gonna go to lala's little nugget i've definitely heard of it but i don't know i've never really seen pictures so i'm intrigued but i'll keep you guys updated It is Sunday and I honestly don't have too much planned for today other than going to floor and decor because we need to kind of get the ball rolling with bathroom renovations. I honestly cannot decide on a vibe for both of the bathrooms because we're going to do them at the same time because my contractor was going to just give me like a discount if I got them both done at the same time so I was like why not? So we're going to be making lots of decisions in these next coming weeks. Um, I'm hoping that when I go home for the holidays I'll kind of be more um, like focused on these projects and just kind of like deciding on what tiles we want, what like vanities we want. I think that's the, been the biggest struggle, especially with the master, is getting the vanity perfect because I have a specific vision just for the vanity and like nothing else. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go to Florida Core, got the laundry started, and we're just gonna have a chill but productive Sunday. We just pulled up to Florida Core after our Starbucks run. Yes. Starbucks. I got a yeah. gingerbread chai. It was actually Check really that, good. Yeah. Wait, show yours. I always finish mine <laughs> so fast. Chug it in the front seat. <laughs> but the pooper stuff with Lauren. No. <laughs> I don't know what the vibe is. We're just gonna go in here, look at some tile, try to get an idea of like what we would even maybe like. I'm thinking bigger tile for the primary bathroom, um, and then maybe like the the guest bathroom could be a little bit more trendy. So I've been looking at vanities online and I found one that we could just take the base from and then use the base and then like get rid of the top and put a custom top on. I've been looking at some marble online and the print that I want, I guess like, I don't know what this is called, like the mm -hmm. design that I want is called Carrera marble. I like this like kind of faint marble texture, not too busy, but like something other than just like this where it's just kind of blank. Ooh, showers. See, I'm already inspired. <laughs> I do kind of want like some kind of a bench so I could actually not risk my life and put up my foot up here, but I could just put it right here and shave. What do you think about this? I actually really like this. Not in there. I don't like the towel in there, but like I love this. It's like more of like a warm kind of thing. No, I'm not joking. This is exactly what I want. 
Right, yeah, seriously. We are finally agreeing on one that we like. That's a big win, so this is it. It's waterproof, so it's showing like on walls and floors, but I think you can put it in the shower, but I don't know, I feel like this is pretty. Nothing too busy, but has some kind of like texture and design. I've been obsessed with this tile right here for quite a while, but I know it's a little trendy, but then it's also like white and neutral, so like, I feel like it's gonna be classic and timeless, but this is something that I'd probably do in the guest bathroom because I really wanna to stick to just larger tiles in the primary bathroom. I'm really leaning towards this though because I feel like I don't really know what else to do. All right, we need to get the curtains up. We purchased them like a couple weeks ago and we still haven't gotten around to it. So we're gonna drill it into the wall and then I also have to like hem the curtains and I bought some fabric tape. So this is gonna be an experiment because I personally have never used it, but I remember like my mom using it for just like hemming pants when I was younger. So hopefully it works. devastated about this home update no more sunspots where'd your sunspots go be back in a we can always open them and and then you can lay down in your sunspots don't worry a new day and i posted on my instagram stories like the final results of the curtains and i was telling you guys it just doesn't look right and so a lot of you commented that i should hem it a little bit which i really don't want to do because that's just like more work but if it gets to that point i will do it but then some of you were saying just to add more panels like two more to each window which is like eight panels in total which i also did not want to hear because these panels i thought were like affordable no when it adds up like that it's not so i did a target pickup order this morning to get more panels but i didn't get one of the curtain rods for like somewhere else that i wanted it because they switched my order for like a bag of dog stuff so we got these and then we got these and i'm telling sophie that santa got her presents because I literally did not order that. I checked my order. I was like, okay, the only thing missing is the curtain rod. So somebody else got a curtain rod and I got the dog treats and there was this little toy in there. Oh, <laughs> it's called a, okay. It's called a lamb chop. And I've heard of these things. They're just like, I don't know, like famous stuffed animals for dogs. Sophie doesn't really do stuffed animals. She only really loves balls. And like, we tried to give her like squeaky toys, which she has one other squeaky toy that's like, um what's the material like plastic rubber. rubber plastic but nothing like furry that she's ever liked like this and she is going ham on this lamb chop which i think is so funny because i i've literally been hearing about these like random little dog toys that are like famous so she's loving it like watch <laughs> i'm not even touching it she's not actually growling like that's how she plays like that she uh... She's not being like aggressive. Yeah, and Yorkies are hunters, right? You don't see her growling though. Like they're gonna think she's like really aggressive, probably. She's no, not, like, I mean she has a toy in her mouth. Oh, she, she <laughs> she's, yeah. The Yorkies are like meant to kill rats, you know, in mm -hmm. London or in Yorkshire, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I think she thinks it's a rat. And she's trying to kill it for us. <laughs> it's so cute though, guys, because she is 11 years old, and she's like never really played with a toy like this. And I'm just like sitting here admiring her. <laughs> <laughs> playing with this little stuffed animal because I think it's so cute and I've just like never seen her like something this much. I've even tried those tug of war toys with her and it's just not her vibe. But I played tug of war with this thing for a little bit. 
Look at her little paws. You're so cute. Okay. <laughs> you love your little lamb chop. I'm literally about to cry, guys. This is just so cute. I don't know why. So shout out to Target for mixing up my bags because you made my dog's day. She's coming home with us for Christmas, so we're definitely going to have to take this home with us. Don't mind the laundry piles. We need to get that done because we need to start packing to go home. But these curtains are from their last apartment, so I think I'm just going to hang them up on that window near my near my side of the bed. Um, and then this is what it looks like when the curtains are open, which it doesn't look bad when they're open, but when they're closed, it definitely looks a little funky. So I'm going to be adding the other panels that I just bought from Target. These little things like don't work that well. I don't know if these are from Target or if I'm not doing it right, but yeah, the rods are going up over here now. These curtains definitely need to be hemmed. They're pretty long, but they're looking good. Thanks, Rai. I know you guys are so bored with the curtain talk, but I ordered these on Target for like pickup and they gave me the wrong color. So these were like white Farah or something, the ones I have here. And this says white linen. What the hell is the difference? Because I don't really see any, especially when you put it down here. They're both white. So do I try and put it up? <laughs> the curtain was slightly different and I know it would have like bothered me. So I'm gonna return those curtains. Plus the one that I actually needed was like way cheaper. Now I'm gonna go on a little hunt because I had a last minute brand deal, which these are always a little stressful before the holidays, but I'm very grateful for any brand deals that I do get. And I told them my updated address but because I've worked with them in the past, I guess they had my old address on file and they didn't like, I don't know. Anyways, so they sent it to the last apartment. And so now I have to hunt it down and I called my apartment, they didn't answer. So I'm like a little worried. I'm not sure if they like saw the package and like sent it back or like what happened. So we're gonna find out and like hopefully I can get this. Good news, I just went into Lenox 7th, that's where we used to live. And they said that they were able to grab the package if it's UPS, which it is, thank God. If it was USPS and it was delivered like in the mailboxes and not the Luxor like app on your phone mailbox, then they wouldn't be able to get it. And it's not even delivered yet, so I have to go back and get it when it does. I was just like freaking out and I wanted a little bit of peace of mind. Um, so that, you know, whenever it does get delivered, I can just go and grab it from them. But it'll probably get delivered like when they're not even there. Like I think they close at six. So I'll have to go and get it tomorrow morning. But I think they only open at like nine. What? I know, but I don't even have like a key fob or anything. Anyways, it kind of worked out because we dropped Ryan's car off to get an oil change in the morning and we have to pick it up anyways. And it was like right by our old apartment. I am going to go to Target. I thought I pressed checkout and like did the whole Target delivery thing, but I ended up not checking out for some reason. I just get so distracted and I have like literally a million things running through my mind. So anyways, I'm just gonna go into Target. It worked out for the best because I have to return the other ones anyways. Um, so let's go to Target. Back with the curtains. So it's time to finally be done <laughs> with this curtain saga. I don't think I mentioned this on the vlog yet, but I called up my contractor the person who I chose to do the bathrooms. I was like, hey, any chance you have some availability earlier? Because somehow I forgot to put in um, some travel in my calendar. We're going to a wedding in Charleston. And then the weekend after I have a trip to Cancun with my college best friends. It was just the only dates that would work and the flights were way cheaper during that time than spring break because one of my friends is still in school. And so we were gonna do it during spring break, but flights to Cancun were like $700, which is like insane, especially because I think I got it for like a hundred something one way. So imagine if I paid $700 for it. Anyways, so I'm basically gonna be out for two weeks because when we go to Charleston, we're gonna fly into Atlanta because those flights were also really expensive to go straight to Charleston. So we're flying into Atlanta, going to probably borrow Ryan's or someone's car to drive to Charleston for the weekend, come back to Atlanta, and I'll probably be there for a week. I haven't told my mom or my dad, so I'm not really sure where I'm staying, but I will be staying in Atlanta for like five days and then going to Cancun. Anyways, moral of the story is that I will be gone for like, what is that? 
not two weeks, but like a little under two weeks. And I remember when I was getting quotes, I heard that people like leave the keys with the crew. I feel like I'd just be anxious with people coming and going into my house when I'm not there. So we're trying to push up all of the renovations, which makes it a little bit scarier because I need to like start like getting things shipped to the house, but we're gone for a while. So like I have to wait till the perfect time to get it shipped because right now it's gonna be shipped too early when we're gone. And I have to obviously probably sign for it if it's like a heavy ass delivery, you know? And also like, I don't want it to be stolen off the porch. So we need to kick that in a high gear. Like you guys saw, we went to floor and decor. So at least I know at least like the floor tiles. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that like all the way up the bathroom. Like I really did want that large tile look throughout the bathroom, but Ryan was like showing me inspo and he had a good point, like every photo it showed it had larger tiles on the floor and then smaller tiles in the shower and it just like looked better that way but i don't know i'm still not really like 100 percent sure on like what i even want i do think i mentioned that we are doing the bathrooms at the same time and those are the only bathrooms with a shower so we are probably going to try to get like a gym membership to shower while this is going on and honestly that will be nice because i do need to really get my ass in the gym i'm so happy you guys are liking all of the home content and renovation content i've been posting a lot on tiktok and instagram too some of you are saying that you are kind of going through the same thing and like buying a house and wanting to do renovations once we closed i wanted to get the ball rolling especially on the floors because we needed the floors to get done before we moved in because that would have been a pain in the ass to do it after we moved in all of our furniture. And to be honest, I had no idea where to even start looking. I was like so overwhelmed in that instant because I was like, oh my God, like how do I pick someone to trust to do my floors? And by the way, if you guys want my flooring guys information, I will DM it to you. So DM me on Instagram because they did a really great job and he was able to like work with our budget. Home Depot quoted us 27K just to lay the floors down, guys. Like I'm still dead thinking about that, but this guy charged us like, I think it was around 8K, which is definitely on the lower end of the, the quotes that I got. And the way I found him, I can't remember if it was next door neighbor or it was Thumbtack. Both of them are really great options. Thumbtack, you just kind of like put in your project and send a message to a bunch of companies. They come back with quotes and you know, if they're a good fit, they can come and see the place and obviously give you a quote from there. And then next door neighbor is a little bit less professional, but if you're trying to work with a budget, you know, maybe that is the best place to find people. Um, we found a guy on Next Door Neighbor to do our lawn care. We found the guy that did the stair remodel on Next Door Neighbor and he was amazing. It definitely is scary to trust people with, you know, obviously your house, um, but we've had pretty good experiences with both of the apps. So I thought I'd just throw that in the vlog just in case you guys are wondering even how you kind of go about that. Um, because like I said, it was definitely overwhelming. So anyways, it's time to hang the curtains up. These are definitely looking like the right ones. Ryan just got home from shooting balls. I was going to do it on my own, but I realized I need the mans. Anyways, last night we finished up Squid Games The Challenge and it was so good. It honestly might even be better than the real Squid Game show, which I also liked a lot, but now we don't have a show. This is our issue. We always have a show for like two days because we binge watch it and then we're like all sad because we're like, damn, it was so nice to have like a show together, you know? Let me know if you guys have any shows that you've been liking recently. I love like girly dramas and then I also like thriller kind of shows. Any show that leaves me with a cliffhanger, I love that. But I also don't really love like sci-fi shows or like a family drama, love that. But I feel like I've watched all of like the best ones, Wintry Hill, Laguna Beach, all of them, Desperate Housewives, oh, it was our favorite. But it did take a while to watch. But after it, we were like very, very sad that it was over. I'm cooking dinner and Ryan is setting up my, um, what is this Echo Show? What the heck, I didn't realize it had this whole thing in the back. Okay, yes, it's the Echo Show. And I'm obsessed with like these smart home devices lately. Um, we have a Google Home like literally 
on the other side of the counter. I really wanted this screen one because I think you can watch like TV on it and YouTube and I thought it would be nice to have while I'm in the kitchen. Um, and then we also have an Echo Pop, just like the small Alexa one. I think we're gonna put that one upstairs so that we can like, you know, put all our lights on it because um, all of our recess lighting is uh, like smart features so we can control it with an app. So it'd just be nice to like go upstairs and be like, hey Alexa, you know, turn on the lights. The Echo Show is updating, so we'll work on that in a second, but I made dinner. We did Trader Joe's fried rice. I like literally did not want to eat out. I did not want to cook. I don't even know what I want for dinner, so I just picked the first frozen food that I saw. I also made us some salmon because I knew the fried rice wouldn't be enough. And then I also made some yum yum sauce. I was inspired by my hibachi night. That was literally the best yum yum sauce I've ever eaten. And so hopefully this is like half as good. Mine come to me all the time. Your mommy. I'm all cozy in bed with my laptop and I just showered and I'm just having the best freaking night and look at our curtains I think they do need to be hemmed but they're all bunched up like you guys told me to on Instagram but Ryan wants to show you guys the Alexa do I? yes um, you do yeah I spent like 30 minutes downstairs making or fixing both of them connecting them all yeah you know, to all the lights and the well, thermostat trying to do the TVs and my um like Spotify won't work for some reason. Oh shoot. But watch this. Alexa, good night.